Anybody who knows me knows I like cocktails. And I like fancy cocktails. Oh, yeah. You can milk wash any cocktail. You can milk wash wine, champagne, beer, and it's going to make it even better. Funny because I've never had to sell it to anybody. I just hand it to them like, holy So just try it. Send the recipe to a friend, tell them to make it for you, go to their party, and enjoy the Milk Wash Punch cocktail. It's gonna be the smoothest cocktail you've ever had in your life. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is juice a bunch of citrus. Lemon juice, lime juice, thinly sliced pineapple. Mm. This is like a 10 strength green tea. We're not trying to add a bunch of water, we're trying to add a lot of tea flavor. Spices, spices, spices. Booze. Bottle of light and a bottle of dark rum. Bourbon. Booze, 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 booze. For node. Those of you who haven't had it, it's like that super licorice-y, fennel -y anise flavor. Angostura. I think can't tell if I have the cap on here. Water and sugar, in we go. Simple. We've got our amazing punch, and you know what? To be frank, like you could just strain this and serve it. But we are going to strain it, and then we're going to milk wash it, and there's some added benefits to that. When you add milk to spirits, the milk proteins bond with a lot of the tannins and polyphenols, the stuff that's bitter, to make the alcohol more sweet. This leftover pineapple, this is why I like to uh, not puree it and blend it up anymore. I'm always looking for new and exciting ways to get alcohol into my body. Whoa. I mean, it's just like pineapple booze snack. You can use paper towels, tea towel, like these are tea towels. No matter how fine your rag or your towel, what ends up filtering it more than any actual filter, paper filter or metal filter or screen, is the actual protein, is the actual curds. So those curds are gonna clog up whatever filter you have, and the rest of your cocktail is gonna run through and filter those curds. I'm gonna add the punch to the milk, and it's gonna get kinda interesting. You ready for this? There it goes. So I might pass it through a couple times. I need those curds to start to stick to the linen a little bit. You can use this same filter, this same raft, and just pour this cocktail through it a couple times and it just comes out clear and clear each time. Clear and clear and clear. It looks like clay or something after it's been sitting a long time. All this milk protein and this curd around the edge. And you see how that curd has like a tan, pink, orange kind of hue to it that's pulling out all the tannins. And this is one we made yesterday. It's been filtering nice and slowly, and you can see it's just like nice yellow. Totally different cocktail at this point. See, once you made it, it's so easy to make another one. Look, I'm making a cocktail right now. Go make milk wash punch. Everything just goes in the big bucket. Milk wash Negroni can settle on its own real, real nice. Pure ethanol almost, because it's really volatile stuff. Ah!